The Finance and Economic Development Minister Professor Mtuli Ngwe says Treasury is paying 180 million Zimbabwean dollars monthly for the millimil subsidy with the social protection program set to be extended to other basic commodities to cushion Zimbabweans from exorbitant prices being charged by businesses. Speaking in Harare this Friday, Minister Ngwe also revealed that government is seeking to ensure that the program is transparent. We've uh, injected quite a bit. Uh, our target is basically to inject about 180 million Zimbabwe dollars a month to support the roller mill uh, subsidy. Uh, and we hope that it will really accelerate in 2020. Also, we intend to include other commodities going forward. You can see that we've really redesigned the subsidy uh, uh, you know, program by making sure that it is transparent, uh, it is targeted, and we're working with the service providers in the form of millers to, to roll out the, the roller mill subsidy. It will be necessary in future to target the subsidy as well. So we work on some kind of voucher scheme to make sure that the, the subsidy goes to the real beneficiaries who need it and who are being targeted by the subsidy program. Regarding the availability of fuel during the festive season, Professor Nguwe said more allocations will be made to suppliers of the commodity through lines of credit facilities. We're doing everything we can to make sure that there is more fuel. Uh, we, you know, we import the product, so we're allocating as much uh, foreign currencies as we can through lines of credit, uh, LCs. Of course, the uh, queues are long, but you know what's happening with the queues as well. Everyone, uh, uh, you know, they get afraid and then they, they have to queue even when they don't have to, to make sure that their two or three cars have fuel. So there's a, a sharp increase in demand uh, for fuel, but we're doing everything we can to make sure that uh, this is dealt with. On the cash side, the minister said the higher denominations will be introduced during the first half of 2020 to complement the current cash replenishment program. So far we've injected $120 million since we started this cash replenishment or injection program. In fact, in the last week alone, we put in about 20 million. Uh, we did. Ta we targeted the POSB uh, specifically, uh, uh, but not uh, exclusively, uh, because we know that uh, a lot of our ordinary citizens are banking with, with them, and I supported that they have all the cash that, that they need. As we have said, going forward uh, into the first quarter, uh, second half of first half of the year, we'll also start introducing higher denomination notes, but also just putting more cash in, in, into the system. Uh, that, that is critical uh, uh, for uh, citizens to be able to transact uh, freely. Government has a number of social protection programs, including the Zupco facility, which are designed to cushion people against the high prices of services and goods. Shamnoro Marava, ZBC News, Harare.